Turk 182 is a well-meaning but very ridiculous movie about a New York City fireman who was injured while trying to rescue a young girl from a fire and then about how his younger brother tries to get recognition and support from City Hall for his older brother who is laid up in a hospital bed. This is the accident that starts the whole story. I've been looking for you. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, we're gonna find your mom. When Timothy Hutton, the young brother, tries to get the attention of the New York mayor, this is the response he gets. And can you believe that a big city mayor would talk this way in public? They are ignoring the rights of a fireman of this city who was injured in the line of duty? That's not possible. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. I mean, he was off duty. You know, we were at Hooley's. He was drinking when the kid came in and said there was... Drinking? Wait a minute. Hold Drinking? I mean, the whole, the, the, whole, drink. the whole building was right, on fire, and Terry's the only one that was All around right, who came in and you brother, that's come, You look. come waltzing in here with a sob story about a drunk? He, wait a minute, he ain't no drunk. My brother right. is not a drunk. Right. You he go home, not. and you take a shower, and you comb your hair, and you think about it. That kind of treatment makes Hutton mad, and he turns into a non-violent urban gorilla, writing the words Turk 182, which is his brother's nickname and his brother's badge number, all over the city. Finally, he sabotages a ceremony at the 59th Street Bridge. Come down. Come down now. Violation of state and federal law. Although Hutton has been riding Turk 182 on every service in New York for the last six weeks by that point, nobody can figure out who this guy is. Not even his own brother, whose nickname is Turk and whose badge number is 182. You'd think Maybe he could put two and two together, but not in this movie. And what's so infuriating is we're supposed to take this courageous battle seriously when, in fact, there's not a moment in the movie that we can really believe. That's too bad. I give this movie one star, and I'm Roger Ebert. <laughs>